Okay, hi to Maria Pan. So nice to see you. You've sent us an essay. I see your exam is coming up. So let's see what kind of feedback we can give you um, less than 24 hours before your exam. Here's what you wrote. This is obviously the one about international marketing. So here's what you said. Nowadays, marketing is a product. No, let's try it again. Nowadays, marketing, a product is playing a vital role in all the organizations. Some set of people are thinking that expanding those marketing a brand in worldwide is not recommended. On the same time, others spreading the product into a cross country is proactive move. This essay will discuss the sides and provide the opinion. Okay, so um, it's grammar, Maria Pan. Really, the grammar is all over the place. It's uh, it's wrong in all the sentences that you wrote. So let's see how we can fix it and what it should have uh, sounded like. Okay, so uh, nowadays marketing of products, it, uh, marketing of products has a vital role in all businesses around the world. Some people believe that expanding uh, that marketing um, worldwide is not recommended. However, at the same time, others um, believe that spreading products um, across the globe is a proactive move. Um, I believe whatever it is you believe is more beneficial, and this essay will discuss both sides uh, using arguments and examples to support my opinion. Okay, that's what this should have sounded like in order to get a high score um, for grammar primarily, okay, but not only, also for task achievement because it asks you to discuss both sides and give your view and you didn't give your opinion. You just said, oh, I'll give it to you at the end, okay? So you don't want to do that. Now, looking at this, it looks like you have a five paragraph essay where you've got one side, the other side, and then your opinion. There's no need to do that. Just put the paragraph with your opinion in the paragraph closest to the conclusion, but we'll talk about that in a minute. To begin with, firstly, whoever opposing the idea of expanding the product marketing into across the borders with the own country thought that need to more experience and much more expensive. All right, this is 100% incoherent. I don't know what you're trying to say here. Um, and the reason I don't understand is because the grammar is, uh, it's not um, clear. It's uh, not uh, following any sort of grammatical rules that provide coherence. So let's take a look at it. Um, how about this? Those who oppose the idea of expanding marketing internationally um, believe that this needs more experience and is more expensive. Maybe this is what you're trying to say. I'm really not sure. However, those marketing, advertisement, or other media promotion not helping the people to understand and trust the product. For example, coffee powder advertising and branding various ways to act people to consume in each country. I, I'm afraid I just don't understand this. I don't know what side you're supposedly arguing here. I, I, you've got this one little example, but the grammar, again, is so problematic that it's creating a strain. I just can't uh, understand what you're trying to say. Um, cause you've got this on the one hand, we have this, but then you say, however, so then you're talking about the other side. Um, there's a lot of problems here. Let's keep going though. On the other hand, people who thinks beyond the border to absorb the future marketing and tactics to generate revenue, to use the golden opportunity to making big. Um, okay. It brings the international branding to the specific product and also earning the multiple time which have been selling the same product in their home, home country. In my personal opinion, with the current trend of global investment and economy, medium and high end level of companies needs to be branding their product to move the next level with using the opportunity to stay on top of it to retain their specialized. To conclude both side, the sufficient points to justify their stand like expensive and other factors to oppose on the, other, at the, on the same time, in order to consider future expansion and move to next level with effective supports with branding internationally. Okay, uh, Maria Penn, this, um, this is an essay that um, 
is if you were to write this tomorrow in your exam, this would probably not get you a seven, okay? And the reason is, is that it is very hard to follow. It is very hard to find your, um, your uh, position anywhere. Uh, it is very hard to kind of say, okay, well, this is what the test taker believes. Um, partially, the problem is grammar. You had some nice words here. You had things like generate revenue, um, absorb, international branding. So you had some nice expressions, but I couldn't get a message from this entire essay. Um, so what I want to recommend to you is, okay, go ahead. You've got the test tomorrow. Go ahead and take it. But after you take it, I really want you to work on your grammar a little bit. I want you to improve the level of your grammar. Make sure that it's at least, um, I don't know, B1, B2 level. It, that's on the um, European framework. But you need your grammar to improve in order for your writing to be um, coherent, okay? Um, so go ahead, take the exam. Um, you know, it's a wonderful learning experience to practice and to do it. And I, I don't know what score you need either, but um, it's an essay that, uh, I want you to be ready. It's probably not going to get you one of those really high band scores just because it was difficult to understand. Okay. Um, when you take the test and when you get your results, come back to us. Um, you know, we can talk about it and see what you need to do in order to get the score you need. Um, so I wish you luck and um, let us know how you do.